Welcome to this month's Flying Razorback Report. I'm Airman First Class Christopher Sherlock. In this edition, ISRG trains new recruits, the medical group partners with a local hospital, and more. First, we would like to congratulate Jenny Johnson, 188th Judge Advocate, on her promotion to Colonel. So Jenny go, you know, continues to go above and beyond. She sits in the National JAG Council position and has operated at the 06 level for years. Getting her promoted to Colonel was one of the first things I wanted to accomplish in my command. And uh, I'm very extremely uh, happy that uh, General Crimmins helped me get to yes on that. We would also like to say farewell to Chief Edgar Mahan as he retires after 30 years of service. Mahan started his military career as a Marine in 1980. He later joined the Army National Guard in 1998 after a 10-year break in service. He spent the latter 18 years of his career in the Arkansas Air National Guard, serving in numerous positions, eventually becoming the 188th Mission Support Group Chief. Chief Mahan, thank you for your dedicated service to our state and nation, and we wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Recently, 188th members participated in a Native American cultural observance at the wing. The reason why we are here today is to present our power presentation where we tell the different meanings behind our dances, tell about what you may see at Pow Wow, and just to allow you to have some fun and learn at the same time. We hope that people will be educated about indigenous people. We hope they wish to experience more and they're inspired to go to powwows and watch because we don't have enough time to show everything that you may see. We would like to thank the volunteers from the Cherokee Heritage Center as well as the Hope Club from Sequoia High School for sharing their culture with us. <laughs> In 2019, a string of tornadoes ripped across the Arkansas River Valley, causing thousands of dollars in damage to facilities around the 188th wing. One civil engineering squadron member took an innovative approach to assessing the damage, saving the wing time and manpower. We have a, an app readily available to us. It's called um, ArcGIS Collector. And what that allows us to do is make these points in the field without having someone here in the office. Back in May, uh, this year, uh, we had a EF-1 tornado come through. Basically, the kinds of damage that we found were uh, most of it minor, but none of it really affected the mission. It was all uh, just minor damage to buildings, mainly the roofs. There were some windows and doors that got damaged as well. I created a app that allows me to do all of my cost estimation on the fly. So as I was entering the type of damage, it was automatically giving me a tally of what the repair cost would be. And within three days, we were able to turn around a fully functioning statement of work and get it over to contracting. The Outstanding Airmen of the Year program is designed to recognize airmen who go above and beyond their peers while demonstrating the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Here are the 2019 Airmen of the Year winners. Recently, the 188th Medical Group began a partnership with Mercy Hospital to work alongside hospital staff. This is a really exciting partnership with Mercy Hospital. This is exciting because it will give our airmen an opportunity to train with real world critical care patients here within Fort Smith uh, coming into the emergency department. Staying here in Fort Smith benefits us just from a cost perspective because we're not going to be sending airmen on an airline to another state or to another MTF. That's extra travel days and airline costs. This prepares them for when they go down range and they're in a field hospital and they're caring for our airmen, our soldiers, and even local nationals. And they're gonna be receiving the best training that we can give our airmen. And we're gonna be giving patients within our community the best care that we can. This partnership will accomplish annual training for members and opens opportunities for future emergency management exercises. Now, security forces members from across the Air Guard capitalize on the exceptional training facilities in Fort Smith to prepare for the Defender Challenge. Security forces senior leadership decided to bring back an old adage of our career field, and that's the Defender Challenge. 
Defender Challenge is where they get uh, defenders from across all MAGCOMs in the Air Force, be it active duty Air Force, uh, reserves, and National Guard together to compete against each other. Uh, they decided to come out here to Fort Chaffee because we have uh, great facilities. So the intent for this particular training iteration was test defenders' ability to do uh, myriad uh, operations. That's going to include shooting, going to include a lot of land nav, and also our combat or wartime tasks. The weather wasn't exactly ideal, but as defenders, we have to go out and do our job no matter what the weather is. They got out there, they got the job done, they got some valuable training and came together as a team so that the next training iteration they can build on that and again hopefully come into the competition and, and take first place. Many years ago, I heard a song called Be Like Mike. The song was about Michael Jordan, number 23 for the Chicago Bulls. He also played baseball as well. But many of us while growing up, we try to be more like him try to play like him, try to wear the shoes like him. This year, I don't want you to be like nobody else. I don't want you to be like Michael Jordan. I don't want you to be like Tom Brady. I don't want you to be like Bill Gates. But I want you to be more of you. Be a better version of yourself. We all have created this vision board, our New Year's resolutions, that we all failed in about six weeks from the time that we created. This year, it's not always about being like somebody else. I want you to build something that you can create that you can build off on. And to become a better version of yourself doesn't take a lot of money. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of dedication, and a lot of commitment. Be that commitment that your airmen need, be that commitment that your family needs, and be that commitment that your friends need. It all starts with you. Leave nothing else on the table but leaving your best self for everyone to follow. <laughs> New recruits joining the 188th Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Group are getting a head start on their training, utilizing the WING's new Innovation Lab. We just completed our student flight pre-intel school training here for January UTA. We learned about electronic warfare uh, and got into why it's important, how we do it. We also worked with newer technology like uh, virtual reality to better understand things like weapons and guidance packages so that not only are we teaching it on paper on slides but we can work to really understand what these weapons are how they work and why each one is unique for its mission what we do with this training is we work to introduce unclassified skills and topics that are relevant to the one in afscs all of these guys were working to introduce these intelligence topics to them so that when they go off to tech school, when we can have them better prepared and have a leg up on their competition so that we can continue to have highly achieving, highly excelling airmen uh, coming back from tech school. That's all for this month's Flying Razorback Report. Head on over to the Wings Facebook page, like, comment, and share. I'm Airman First Class Christopher Sherlock. We'll see you next time.